Hey guys, this is Mr. Tripie, and I was wondering if you ever found yourself in a situation where you were level editing and you wanted to intersect some geometry with your landscape mesh, such as this. You find that you have ugly, obvious seams where the meshes intersect each other. So you try to hide it with grass and smaller rocks and things, but it's still noticeable. So perhaps you'd like to blend your meshing more like this one here. And maybe add some of your landscape material onto the mesh itself. Now the first technique I'm going to show you to fix this problem uses the pixel depth offset on your mesh's material. Now the pixel depth is how far your pixel is away from the camera. The pixel depth offset allows you to push it away even farther than it really is. To show you what this does, I'll just put a parameter into the pixel depth offset and edit it. I can now adjust the pixel depth offset and you'll see that it starts to get all dark. Now this effect really only works if you go to lighting and turn off cast shadow. After I turn off casting shadows, what you'll see when I adjust it is that where the mesh intersects, it will disappear as I raise this value. Now, I'm not 100% sure, so correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think how this works is that the pixel depth is used to determine the order that things are rendered in. So if this mesh is being told that its pixel depth is farther away than the landscapes, which is, is in some spots, it will then become invisible. Now what we can use is an effect called dithering. Older game systems didn't have the ability to render quite as many colors as the newer ones, so they'd often have to blend between two colors by using a pattern, such as a checkerboard. This is what dithering is. So if you multiply this value by the dither temporal AA node and save it, it will then dither a little bit of this effect. And you'll get a kind of blended in between stage between the full rock and full grass, where it shows a little bit of the grass. The reason why it looked black before was because it was showing the shadow that was casted on the grass. So you can blend a little bit of this grass behind it in and it'll look quite a lot nicer. You probably want to be somewhat subtle with this effect. I think maybe 30 or so is good, maybe le even less. Using dither along with pixel def offset has pros and cons. You can't really work with a mesh that is that big or else It'll look weird since it won't be able to cast a shadow and look good. You also can't blend it too much or else it'll be very obvious that you're just hiding a little bit of it. The next technique that we can use is more obvious and it will use vertex colors to create a sort of layer max similar to what you have with the landscapes. First thing you'll need is a vertex color node. You will need to copy over your material layer for your landscape. It may be a good idea to store your material layer for your landscape in a material function that can be used in multiple materials. So I'll just copy this over and put it in here. One thing to note is that you want your texture for your landscape to be world aligned using a world aligned texture for triplanar alignment, or you could use other options. Make sure you use world align normal for normal maps though. I've reorganized to give us a bit more room. The simple way to do this is to use a lerp node, or if you're using a material function, a blend material attributes node the blend material attributes node is basically a lerp node for your material attributes. 
So you'd plug your texture for your rock into A and your texture for your landscape into the other one and put that into base color and you can use one of the vertex colors to as your alpha. Do the same for your other maps and make sure they go into the same inputs. So for this case the landscape goes into B and the rock goes into A. Put that into normal and use the red vertex color as an alpha mask. I can save this and then I can paint the textures on with the vertex color. I'll start by making it all black for the rock texture and then I can use white only in the red channel or it doesn't really matter since I don't have the other channels being used to paint the grass texture on here. You could also try using a height lerp where you plug in the A and the B and plug in the vertex color into transitional phase as your alpha. You can use a kind of noisy texture as your height texture so that it won't be blended completely. It will have kind of a splotchy look between it. This is good for lower poly models and lower contrast textures. You will see here that there's still a little bit of a seam which isn't really noticeable right now, but it will be in certain situations and can be seen easier with lighting only. There's a very obvious seam here. The ideal way to fix the seam is to blend the normals between them, but I don't know any way to automatically do that. So for now, we can simply combine the two methods, which should hopefully blur out the line a little bit extra. and give really nice results. This was Mr. TriPi and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to help my channel grow. Thank you.